welcome to Porsche's new Halo Panamera model, the Porsche Panamera Turbo S E Hybrid. Fast car, lots of technology, lots to talk about. We're in Canada, Vancouver Island to drive this car today and uh, I'll give you a quick tour, show you some of the bits and pieces on it. Um, lots of impressive kit on this car. Obviously we've got the front three quarter angle here. The car has air suspension with three height settings. This is in the lowest setting of course where it looks its toughest. Um, huge long car this as well. Let's go around have a look. Coming around here the, um, the rear wing is deployed. It's a, you can press a button to get it up when you're just driving around. Um, otherwise it does deploy um, at high speeds to give, a, to give some extra downforce. Huge improvement in the styling, um, if you ask me anyway, with the Panamera. Um, the previous car was a bit of an acquired taste styling wise. I think this car looks a lot better. I think it looks a little bit better actually from the rear three quarter with the spoiler down, which just sort of like, uh, you know, lets the lines of the car just sort of torque and be a bit more smoother rather than this big jagged, um, this big jagged spoiler popping out, although it is very large, as you can see. Only really a trained eye will spot the Turbo S from the, from the Turbo. You can see the acid green highlights on the badging there. There's also uh, acid green used on the brake calipers on the rear and the front. And with that badge is there as well, e-hybrid. Porsche now, of course, um, using hybrid technology for its halo performance models, um, first of which is the Panamera and we'll probably see it with future Porsche models as well. 911, uh, Cayman, Boxster, who knows, says Porsche. So this car is big. It's um, 2,310 kilograms, which is about 300 kilograms more than the turbo. It's got 130 kilograms worth of batteries in the back of it. It's got an electric motor in between the engine and the PDK transmission. Um, so combining the batteries, the electric motor, the auxiliary air conditioning unit, which is an extra air conditioning unit, plus sort of the control module, and you're looking at, uh, yeah, that extra 300 kilos, which, which is a lot. And Porsche's fitted a lot of hardware to the car just to sort of work with the extra weight. So those front, front tires there, they're 275s, 21 inch wheels, 275 front tires. They're pretty much as big as Porsche brakes get as well. They're the carbon ceramic brakes. They're standard on this car. Huge 10 piston front calipers with 420 mil rotors. Just look at the size of those and they have to work really hard. You can see this car's done a bit of track work today and there's already some, uh, <laughs> you can tell the carbon ceramic rotors have, have seen a little tiny bit of work. Moving to the back as well, pretty much as, as wide as a tire gets on a Porsche model. 325 millimeter rear tires. We've got four piston calipers back here um, with 410 millimeter rear rotors. Let's have a look in the car now. So this car is powered by a four liter twin turbo V8, two twin scroll turbochargers, um, sitting in the, in the hot V of the engine as Porsche calls it. And the engine makes 404 kilowatts and 770 newton meters. Um, but with the electric motor, um, you're looking at 500 kilowatts all up and 850 newton meters. Porsche claims the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid will do 0, zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds, which is about two tenths quicker than the Panamera Turbo. Um, and yeah, just all around a blisteringly fast car. You can see the dials here, we'll start it up. When you start this car up, it starts automatically in electric mode. There is no engine starting unless you are in Sport Plus on this dial here. So we're in electric mode at the moment. We can drive off, there's no engine started. So this car has about, um, it's a plug-in hybrid, has between 25 and 50 kilometers of, of range um, in electric only mode. Um, when you're in, this is, this is uh, electric mode at the moment. We've got hybrid as well, which sort of like switches between the uh, electric motor and the batteries and the engine for optimum fuel efficiency. Porsche claims 2.9 litres per 100 kilometres um, fuel economy for this car, which is obviously crazy for such a huge car with this much power. Um, on, the, uh, on the dial here, the Porsche drive mode select, you can hit sport and the engine will kick in. There we go, it's just fired up. 
So there's a couple of readouts here. You can see that little um, see that little dial there below the taco that tells you um, how much if you're using power or if, if the car is uh, is regenerating under brakes. Um, we've got this screen here on the left, which you can on the right, sorry, which you can s s toggle with with this this here. And this tells you a huge amount of information about the car. Um, the drive distribution, obviously, it's an all-drive car, very rear biased, um, but the front axle does come in um, to help traction out, which is which is much needed on a car with this much power. The energy flow, you can see the battery sort of indicated in the back there. Consumption, G-force, sport chrono, a night view as well. Not going to be much use to us right now. Map, and so on. So, very cool car. This is how you adjust all the different drive modes. We've got the uh, electric power um, a hybrid, which mixes the electric motor and the engine, sports sport plus individual, where you can basically mix all these modes together. Um, spoiler there, hold that down, and that will bring the spoiler in. Maybe we need to go to sports to make that happen. So, the spoiler is now retracting. If you can see in the rear vision mirror there, well, you can't see because my hand is in the way. But if I press the spoiler button, you can see the spoiler fold out like that. Very cool. So as I was talking about before, we're in low, but we can sort of change the ride height to medium if we want to. The car is now lifting on its air suspension, which is really cool. This car has Sport Chrono, which is standard in Australia. This is the Sport Chrono clock. You can see with the acid green needle, very cool. There are acid green highlights in this car on the taco needle and on the digital display, uh, like the uh, speedometer and stuff like that. So that's more or less it. This is the new generation of Porsche interior. This is, if you ask me, this is pretty much as nice as interiors get. It is super, super, super plush, amazing build quality, great materials. It's very, very nice to sit in. This is a car that you'll happily spend a lot of time sitting in traffic in. We'll have a closer look at this console here. This, yeah, this is the new generation Porsche console, which will probably make its way into the next generation 911. Um, and Boxer and Cayman and KN obviously. Dual mode climate control, you've got these uh, haptic touch buttons. So they're not actually a button, but um, it's kind of like a, kind of like the home button on the iPhone, on the new iPhone. Um, you can sort of scroll through, not a button per se, but gives you the sensation of a button. Got the traction control, um, the dampers, a bunch of other little bits and pieces. And yeah, that's, that's more or less, more or less it. So we'll turn the car off now, and that's the uh, Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. Absolute monster of a car, big heavy thing, but it does conceal its weight really, really well. Keep an eye out for these cars uh, on a road near you soon.